Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to use momentum relationships to work out average impulse, and we're also going to relate kinematic concepts to linear momentum. So the problem we have today is we've been um, we've been told a baseball player hits a pitch traveling at 10 meters per second. The ball's velocity after the impact is measured to be uh, 15 meters per second at a, at 45 degrees to the horizontal. Um, we've, we've been asked to find the average impulse. We've also been told the uh, mass of the baseball is 250 grams and the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second squared. So that is the diagram here. So we have the ball coming in um, at the horizontal here and it's being hit away by this baseball bat at a final uh, velocity of 15 meters per second. Uh, but this time it has a... Um, it has an angle of 45 degrees. So our first step in this question is going to be working out the initial momentum of the ball. So that is simply done by uh, this relationship here. So we have, um, we're going to be breaking this down into X and Y components, uh, just because when we have the final momentum, you can see that it does have an X and the Y component in the velocity. Um, although initially it only has, um, one component and he has an x component uh, we're going to be writing it as g i x as in the initial in the x direction just uh so it's not too confusing later on 